There was once a girl who was so full of praise that she twirled and she sang and she whistled all day. Life was so wonderfully beautiful and her heart so full of joy that she wanted to express it to every girl and boy. There was a skip in her step and a twinkle in her eye that even made the world's greatest cynic wonder why. Then wonder, oh they wondered, what it could be that made her whistle and twirl and sing. And one day it happened, she ran into the crowd. They stared, then rolled their eyes and asked her, Why, why don't, don't you, you frown? Frown? But I'm happy. Well, happy isn't cool. If you want to be our friend, you have to hang with our rules. But, but I love to smile and whistle. My heart is so full. I just have to express it, to be joyful. Oh, about that whistle, that annoying thing, it's way too loud. It makes my ears sting. If you're going to be one of us, you're going to have to turn that thing down. Tone it down? How about just stop it altogether? If you want to be like us, you'll have to be as quiet, as quiet as a feather. A feather? I never thought about a feather. Feathers are quiet and graceful and dainty. A feather never stands out. I'd almost forgotten what feathers were all about. And so, on that day, her whistling stopped. Along with the singing and dancing and hops. Her smile faded into a frown. And she was a part of the really cool crowd. They all walked the same. They all rolled their eyes. They all fought to catch a gaze of questioning eyes. She learned the part and played her part well. But soon, her sad heart began to fail. I miss my whistle. I miss my whistle, my twirl, my smile. Life seems so empty, and it has for a while. So she made a decision. It was time she be free, be everything God had created her to be. So she bravely told her newfound friends, I really like you, but like you I just cannot be. I'm not like a feather, I'm more like a whistle of a bird you see. And suddenly it dawned on her quiet as feather friend. Buried deep inside, they each had something different to give. One had a rhythm, the other a rhyme. One had a sound of a trumpeting kind. One had a shuffle, the other a step. But they all had a smile for their creator's plan they had kept. And each decided that it was God whom they would please by being the creation he made them to be. And when they all came together, it was such a joyful sound, and a display of all the glory they had found. For as they looked at each other, they could see a reflection of God's grace, and celebrate all the variety he had placed upon his great big world, and how he delighted in every boy and girl. So the girl's whistle was restored. And you know what? She is never bored. She sings and she dances. She skips and she twirls. She shares God's joy with all boys and girls. And she whistles, she whistles, she whistles her sound. And she prays that by you, the same joy will be found.